A common question that I get in my office is, and not even in my office, but just amongst the public, people I know, they always ask me about probiotics. What, you know, probiotics, prebiotics, are they necessary? Well, um, they are and they aren't, and sometimes they can cause problems. So we're gonna answer all of this and more, and we're gonna start right now. Well, hello everybody, I'm Dr. Glenn Harrison and welcome to this segment of Why. This is where we take just a few minutes to answer some of the most common health-related questions that I see in my office every day. Now, if you are new to this channel and you wanna learn more about the why of a condition, how it happens, what the cause of it is, and how to turn it around, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so you don't miss, miss anything and miss any content. So, Probiotics and prebiotics and everything in between, is it necessary? Well, yes, no, and sometimes it can cause problems. So let's start off with probiotics. What are probiotics? Well, probiotics, if you've ever walked in, into a health food store or a grocery store or a vitamin store, there's entire walls full of these probiotics. And what do we do? Do we consume them? Do we not consume them? We've been told we need them. Well, what probiotics really are is just bacteria. What happens is you take these probiotics and you should add to your bacteria stores, your add to your biome, your gut biome. This is necessary, but probiotics by itself is just a drop in the bucket. Some people can get benefits from them, but it's really just a drop in the bucket considering all the bacteria, the healthy bacteria you have in your digestive tract. So that's what a probiotic is. What a prebiotic is, it's the food for the bacteria. So, so that's what all a prebiotic is. It's the raw product that your bacteria uses for a form of fuel. So your bacteria have to break down these prebiotics um, so it can make its own fuel source and naturally have a, have a, a healthy gut. Now there's many things that affect the bacteria. We're just gonna be talking about the probiotics and prebiotics today. So that's what a prebiotic is and a probiotic. Now, when to take it? Well, I'll, I'll give you, I'll explain what I use in my office and how I use it, and then you, you'll have some tools. I do prescribe probiotics for most of everybody when they come into the office. I'll give them, and, and I recommend multiple different probiotics. Remember, every probiotic on the shelf that you see in a store are gonna have different strains, and there's billions of strains in our, in our gut that we're still learning about. So if we have three strains from this bottle and we only take that bottle of probiotics, it's, it's not doing much for us. We should have different, different products. And in my office, we'll have three, four different products and we'll put them all in one bottle. We'll empty them and put them in one bottle. And that uh, one of my, my patients, they'll just take a different one every day, whatever comes out of the bottle. Or take one product and use that till it's empty, then go buy a different product and use that till it's empty and do three or four different types and do that rotation. That's how I do it. But when they're a problem, a probiotic, is when you take them and you bloat. Now be careful taking probiotics if you're already bloating and have gas. That, this can make it worse. If the bloating gets worse, or you have bloating when you're taking a probiotic, or a prebiotic for that matter, that means, probably means you have something called SIBO. SIBO stands for Small Intestinal Bacterial Overgrowth. We used to test for SIBO by giving people a whole bunch of probiotics and see if their symptoms got worse. So if you have that, make sure you're working with a healthcare provider. That can be, that can be daunting. I know people 30 years having SIBO. You can turn it around, but get yourself a healthcare provider that'll look at that and test properly for it. And you can, even us, we can work with anybody in the country or out of the country. So that's when not to use a probiotic or a prebiotic if you're bloating. You have to use a, if, you, if bloating's a problem, I don't even risk using normal probiotics. I only use one probiotic that I've seen as helpful. It's called Symbiotica. There's gonna be a video right here in the link description where you can order that if you're having problems with bloating. That's the safe one to use. And then hopefully with time, then you can use normal probiotics. So that's probiotics and prebiotics. Now, as a regimen, I'll give people with that digestive issues, they'll start with a probiotic and we'll make sure there's no bloating. And if there is, we'll use the Symbiotica probiotic that's safe, that doesn't cause pro, uh, bloating. 
And then once they're on that for a while, we're adding that, we're hopefully seeding, planting more bacteria in their digestive tract. Then, only then, then we'll start experimenting with prebiotic supplementation, or what I prefer to use is fermented food, a little bit of fermented food. Now, if you have a bloating problem, you usually don't wanna consume any kind of fermented food um, or prebiotic, because it just makes it worse. Uh, but with time, you should be able to graduate to that fermented food. That is how, that's our original prebiotic, is the foods we, we used to eat fermented foods. Now, it's not so common in our, in our diets, at least in the Western world. So that's how I introduce prebiotics, how I introduce probiotics. And then once things are better, I start pulling those supplements out of their diet because I'm a minimalist in my clinic. We get great results, but I don't want people relying on supplements indefinitely for everything. And probiotics are one of them. Sometimes people need them long-term, other products, but probiotics you should be able, and prebiotics you should be able to pull those out. Um, but it has to be the right time. So that's, that's how I do it. And then, and then I get people to eat multiple diverse plant species. So the goal of the gut, <laughs> the goal of a healthy gut is to have a massive diversity in your, in your, in your bacteria, meaning multiple different types of bacteria and a, and a high quantity of it. And the only way we can create this diversity in bacteria and, and a large quantity is having different types of fruits and vegetables. These fruits and vegetables are a, few, a food source for your bacteria. If you give your bacteria different food, you develop different bacteria and more bacteria. So anim different animal proteins don't do this, only plant species. So don't just have those two to three different kinds of vegetables are go-tos. And I hate a lot of vegetables, I really do. So I'll blend them up and I'll have half a cup of, of different types of fruits or vegetables that I don't like preparing. I'll blend it up and I'll shoot it back every morning and that's gonna be the best form uh, of, of fuel and, and to increase your biodiversity. But you gotta be ready for that. So that's, that's a little hack that you can try. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, again, don't, don't underestimate. So there'll be links on SIBO and supplementation here that you can hopefully figure, yeah, figure it out. And you can always reach out to us. We can, again, we can work with anybody in the country, out of the country, and you don't have to live with these symptoms. The, the digestive issues are serious. But hopefully that answers the question on probiotics and prebiotics. Are they, are they necessary? When to take them? Um, because there's a lot of confusion around that. Um, but I hope it was helpful. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And, uh, you know, share this with friends or family if they're questioning probiotics and prebiotics and if they want to know how to use them. That's my recommendations. But it shouldn't have to be long term once you, once you start feeling better. So I hope that was helpful. I look forward to talking to you next day where we're going to answer the why to another health-related question. Have a great day.